Hello. The date is Sunday the 14th of May. I just wanted to talk about how I'm feeling and stuff because I'm definitely quite open about my life and my mental health and stuff but I don't think I really show the extent of how much I suffer at times. For example, these days I'm definitely struggling a lot and while I'm making every effort I can to be better and look after myself, I always feel like it's not quite enough and I just have a lot of really bad habits. I think a lot of my coping mechanisms aren't good ones and I don't actually feel better. Of course I have a lot of very good coping mechanisms as well but at some point it's kind of like when do I feel better from these things you know. What's the point of all these little habits if ultimately I still feel the same? So it's kind of hard sometimes to actually do things <laughs> that I know will help me because I'm not entirely convinced they actually will. I've had a week now to write my essays and I've got a week left and I've not been able to make any progress at all. I have always kind of believed that I will be able to get things done on time no matter what but at this point I'm really doubting whether I'm actually going to be able to submit these assignments and it's quite upsetting because I've never submit anything late in my entire time at university and it's sad that now right at the end is when I start to finally break down and just I'm not able to work anymore but you know at least it is the end at least I don't actually have to keep going after this I can relax a bit. My parents asked if they can come and visit today because they don't have any other opportunities and at first I just wanted to say no because I'm so busy but I kind of just thought I'm not gonna get any work done anyway and I'd rather see them and try and feel better and then maybe it will help me actually be productive afterwards but honestly now I'm feeling worse after waking up this morning and I think I might go home with them to Wales just because I don't want to be alone when I feel so bad. They'll be here in one hour so I just wanted to tidy my flat a bit, empty my bin, clean a bit so when I come back it's tidy and also I need to pack a bit but there's where I'm at. I'm just kind of feeling just a little bit disappointed in myself because I think in my head I try and maybe not just even in my head maybe in real life as well I'm kind of trying to convince myself and everyone around me that I can always do things no matter what and that even though I struggle like I always manage in the end but at this point I may have to admit defeat like I really don't know what to do and I've said this before I know that going back to Wales won't solve all my problems but at least I won't be alone and at least I can go and sit outside in the garden. It'll be nice in Wales when you can go a whole day without seeing a single human <laughs> to sort of just be in peace for a bit. Every day I'm trying and I know I'm struggling a lot now but I do believe it will be better soon. So why am I always almost crying? <laughs> I've really not been sleeping at all and I dragged myself up this morning and I showered and I washed my hair and yeah I'm only running on a few hours of sleep but I'm hoping at least I will get tired from the walking today and fall asleep tonight at a reasonable time in my own bed at home and that from that point onwards I don't have to worry about my sleep schedule anymore and it will hopefully be fixed. I think I will pack now and do some cleaning and I obviously won't film much if anything today because I kind of just want to be with my parents and present I guess but if I do anything really fun I'm sure I'll film it. <laughs> my flat is a big mess again it's always a big mess because I just can't keep it clean I am incapable it seems of when I'm stressed like I just can't I can't do it. Let's do some packing cleaning and preparing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, I'm home now and it is Tuesday the 16th of May, it's 11am. I just realised that I probably wasn't going to be able to submit any of my assignments unless I made a change because I wasn't doing any work and I just couldn't bring myself to. It's not like I was busy with other things, I was just having really intense procrastination and I wasted a week and now I've got five days left to write three essays and yeah I've put myself in quite a difficult position but I'm gonna still try my best and get it all done. I'm really grateful that they were able to take me home though because it's nice to not be alone but yeah I wrote 800 words yesterday and I've got about 700 more to do today and then start some more reading and that should be my first essay done and then I've got two and a half days for the next one and two and a half days for the last one so we'll see it is very rushed and I'm not really feeling stressed I'm just kind of feeling frustrated that I can't work no matter how hard I try because my brain is just really not in the right place and it doesn't matter how many times I try and motivate myself I'm like oh there's only a week left and then you're done forever or oh it's the final push like it just doesn't work it's not motivation that I lack, it, it's not discipline, it's literally just I'm unable. My brain is just not letting me do it. I'm here now though and I'm going to try and make the best out of this situation and try my best but please forgive me for perhaps an uninspired and short video. I know they have been lacking recently but I'm trying to just focus on this and then I will have so much time to be creative and try new things and I just can't wait. It's gonna be so nice. Had some oats for breakfast, still having my porridge every day. I'm my matcha now so I'm gonna try, keep working, just trying my best and it's okay, you know. I'm trying to not get too upset because I'm really doing all I can and I feel like I don't have anything left to give. I'm gonna get to work now, work for the rest of the day. I'm still kind of having a nice slow morning and then getting to work because I kind of struggle to focus in the morning anyway so I like to kind of relax in the morning for a couple of hours and then get to it. I guess I will film if I do anything other than work and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I just made this thing I saw it on Instagram and it's meant to be like a brownie but I didn't have the right sized dish so I kind of just made a pancake with walnuts and it looks really bad <laughs> I topped it with some honey and some salt it's okay it's a bit dry but it doesn't taste bad you can kind of tell it's dry just by looking. Maybe next time I'll put some milk in. I don't hate it, even though it looks like this. You know what? I actually quite like it. I'll probably make this every day. <laughs> it's 
So I finished my first essay yesterday and I submit it and I'm feeling quite proud of myself. I wrote it in a couple of days and now it's Wednesday. So I've got 3,000 words left to write on two different essays and I've got all day today, all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. I've got five days. Um, they're due midday on Monday but I can't work on Monday because I've got a blood test in the morning anyway so I suppose I could work before my blood test but I'd have to wake up quite early. So Sunday is the goal. So I've got five full days so I'm going to try and submit this one by like midday lunchtime on Friday and that gives me two and a half days for the last one. And yeah, so my question is about cystinosis and it's to assess the underlying disease mechanisms that lead to cystinosis and evaluate the gene therapy that they're trialing in the US and in the evaluation include details from animal studies that have led up to the clinical trial they're currently doing and also to discuss the potential mechanisms that the gene therapy could use to help cystinosis. So yeah. Cystinosis is a genetic condition present from birth that leads to the buildup of cysteine crystals in the body. So my last essay was on renal cell carcinoma, which is kidney cancer, and this one is on cystinosis, which also affects the kidneys. So I wonder if my last one will also be about the kidneys. And I have a speaker to my left, and I've been enjoying playing music on the speaker. I forgot how different it makes music sound. So 11 a.m., I had my questionable breakfast. We'll see if it keeps me full. I feel like it will, because it's just loads of protein a whole banana and a whole egg. Like, if I had those three things separately on a plate, I would be pretty full. So, and walnuts. Walnuts will keep me full as well. So, we'll see. I will get to work now, home alone today, and it is such a beautiful day, so I'm kind of hoping I have enough energy to go for a run, but that depends on how much progress I make. So, we'll see if I get stuff done today. I hope so. There's a new Idol album, so I'm going to put that on. beautiful evening and I've waited for the sun to go down a bit but now it's time to go. Leggings. My nine and tide are coming to visit today so I don't want to miss them so I'm going now. I always bite my nails when I'm stressed and they hurt a lot. I've not stepped foot outside since Sunday and today is Wednesday so not good not good at all. I just need to braid my hair and then I'll go.
was so good. I'm trying to find an angle where the lighting isn't really dark, but I can't really find anywhere. I've written about 500 words of essay number two. Ideally, I need to finish it today, which sounds absolutely ridiculous, considering I need to edit this whole video as well. So I think I'll try and write another 500 today, finish off 500 tomorrow. That seems a lot more realistic. And if I manage to do more than 500, then I can just be very proud of myself. I kind of forced myself to get dressed today and actually do something different from my routine and made a coffee. I always make a matcha. I have run out of matcha, that's why I didn't make one, but I bought decaf coffee yesterday. So I went on my run and on the way home, I got some decaf coffee, some berries, yogurt, milk, salad stuff, pasta sauce, just to keep me going for the next few days. And yeah, the ice latte was good. It was very cinnamony. The end is so near for me and I'm starting to feel excited, kind of like for Christmas, but just for the end of uni on a random day in May, you know? As soon as I press submit on that last essay, it will just be over and let's begin the rest of my life, really. Am I being dramatic? <laughs> Before I continue on with my day, I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allows you to build an online store, a website, a blog, a portfolio. One thing I wasn't aware of is something called a bio site, which is a way to sort of show off whatever you want on one page with one link. You can include your website, your products, music, your other social media. If you're an artist or you're crowdfunding, you can also accept tips via a bio site, which is very cool and I think would definitely be helpful for a lot of people. And you don't have to just stick to one bio site, you can make them for multiple different things. It's very optimised for mobile use as well, which is definitely an important factor in this day and age because, you know, everyone is on their phones. <laughs> so head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace.